Um, it's, it's nice to be here to start with. Um, it's not my first time in Kigali, anyway. Some people are very unwelcoming in that part, but we all know football is part of entertainment. And in fact, in fans were entertained today. But going to the game proper, um, I feel okay, but we came with a mindset of getting all three points. But we didn't get the three points, we're okay with one point. But, you know, we had a lot of clear court scoring chances, and Randy's defended very well, so kudos to them. Yeah, in an open play, they could possess the ball because, um, you know, that's the way they play. But only one shot towards our goalkeeper, which was towards the end of the game. Otherwise, they didn't create any clear court chance. We should have buried this game in the first half. Second half, we also saw, uh, got some few clear court chances. We didn't bury it. But however, we were very satisfied and um, we'll go on and re-strategize for other games. Well, it's a clear mission. We, we came here to get three points. We didn't get it, unfortunately, like you um, alluded. It could have been two, three nil up in the first half. Um, again, I've always told our boys, when you're in the box, you're the boss. Calm down and bury it. But, you know, Randy's also defended in numbers. They were, you know, blocking balls with their buddies and all of that. So, it happens, you know. And then second half, we came out a little bit more smoking. We had to change some few players to bring um, some more energy into the game. But again, few chances in the second half, but we couldn't bury them. But there's a lot of good takeaways from here we'll work on, especially in finishing. You know, I, I came into this job now as a TD, and um, we did very well in AFCON. And after I've come, yeah, we've got a little bit of poor run until the last game we won. And then I'm sad with the responsibility of tinkling the team and trying to get the team qualified for the, for the next AFCON. And then, you know, all our boys are playing abroad uh, in the big leagues. So it'll be difficult. They have only three days before the first game, or three, three four days before we played Bene. And then right after Bene, we come in here. You know, it's a little bit difficult to change formation. This, if I stay on the job long enough, we can also change formations in friendly games. This is what we're used to right now. They executed it very well during the last AFCON. We're almost African champions. So the, just to change it inside tournament is difficult. So is Chukwesi. Yeah. How is, how is, uh, is it's, it's very good. It's one of our uh, good players. And then um, today you came up with a strategy. You got a yellow card. Um, it was tormenting you guys. but. You know, we don't want to, we had three players on yellow card. So it's kind of a risk also, you know, so we had to make some substitution and we have players who can go forward also. So we thought, okay, Shukwe is you rest, not because he's not playing well, because of the risk of getting a um, second yellow card. No, I, I, don't, I don't encourage such. I don't encourage such, you know, uh, it's something we have to talk, to, talk about. And uh, we all know he's, he's one of the best goalkeepers in Africa right now. You know, some, some officials can get irritated as well and then start to add more minutes. You know, um, it's not a game plan, not at all. I told you before, we have come here to try to get the three points. So delaying such balls is it's also not, it's not the best. But something, it's an inside um, house talk we'll discuss. Going forward, such things will not happen. You know, you cannot rule out Randy's. They were all over the place. Huh? In as much as they were possessing the ball, but they were not posing, imposing any threat either. And Ndidi has worked tirelessly. Fiasayo as well has worked tirelessly. So if we, for us to bring in more energy and balance in the team, we had to do that. And you all know, Onyeka is a box-to-box -box player. He wasn't instructed to stay there. Once we go up there, and you, you, can, you, you can see. Go take the, the tape and watch. He, a few times he went past people, he went up there. He's got a lot of energy, so he can run box to box. So as soon as the action is over, he's back in, in, in position also. You know, Osime is our brother, is our son, is our own. We cannot throw away the bad water with the baby. You know what he's going through with Napoli? And um, he's just moved to Galatasaray now, and he hasn't been playing active football for a while. So we, something that will try to manage his fitness as well. You know, he came in in the last 25 minutes in the in, uh, last game at home. And today we had a world routine too that he has to, he cannot play 90 minutes. Otherwise he's going to get injured. Scientifically is proven. And what he also, if you look at the stats, the last game before the York came, only have a few minutes before the game. 
Bottom line is we have 23, 40, 50 talented players which we can pick from at every given time. But if deal is you cannot play with number of more, um, you cannot play with more than the number of players that can execute a game at a point in time. So it's a difficult one. We've got talent, but we only have to play with 11. And the good thing is they understand because like, that bonding is there. We've talked about it. It's acceptable to everyone. And sometimes, yes, players can get frustrated, which is normal. But within, we know that it's an accord, it's an agreement. When called to play, you play. If you're not called, you still go with the same spirit to the team.